fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World. Today, I have a special guest, Ariel from The Urbanist. He is a definition of a slow traveler. And I thought I'd ask him, what are three words of advice you have for people that want to do slow travel? So, let's hear him. So, a lot of people who are traveling tend to take at least a two-week vacation. Rather than cramming a lot of different cities and destinations into those two weeks, I recommend just sticking to one place. And there, there you can immerse yourself into that specific city. But there's also a side pro tip when it comes to that. Choose a city where you can take amazing day trips. And there are specific cities, at least in Europe, where you can take amazing day trips. Like in Paris, you can go to the Chartres Cathedral nearby. You can go to places even like Strasbourg, which is only a three-hour uh, train right away. Or Rome, you can even take a day trip to Florence, potentially. Or to Naples, which is only two hours away. Uh, that is the best way to really immerse yourself in the city, but also have a different adventure for a day or two. And then the second pro tip I would give is it comes to food. A lot of people, when they're traveling, you feel the need to go to a different place every single day. Every single day go to a different cafe, every single day go to a different bar. But there's some countries where it's really worth going to the same place at least a few times, or maybe the entire time you're there. Because there you can potentially get to know the waiters, the bartenders, the people, the patrons who go there all the time. You really do immerse yourself more in the culture when you become a patron of the local restaurant or tavern or pump. And I got to say, that is the best one to meet locals. I got to say, that is a great thing to do. I have to add that one in there. Fantastic one there. My third tip is to get lost. No, no, but I'm seriously. Just wander around the city aimlessly no agenda no itinerary this might be very scary for some people but generally most cities at least in europe and many major cities in north america are very safe to walk around aimlessly because when you're walking around aimlessly you will bump into magical things that you cannot plan for or expect you can watch all the travel content you can in the world but there are some things that are completely unexpected you might run into an amazing busker playing on a street corner for example i saw one play in front of the Roman Colosseum, late night at 11 p.m. was the most mind-blowing things I've ever seen. You might see a random taverna here in Greece and pop in and meet their family. Things like that happen when you're just getting lost in the city. Because if you get lost, you'll find your way. Fantastic trip for slow travelers. Thank you, Ariel. Let them know where they can find you. You can find me at Urbanist Exploring Cities on YouTube and Urbanist Live on Instagram. And he has fantastic videos coming out all the time. So go check it out because you're not just going to have fun. You're going to learn a lot too from him. So thank you very much, Ariel. And we wish you all happy travels. Bye from here in Athens. Bye.